a song of light and leaf of flower, a dance matter and clouds, and this little bad boy just uploads things to the cloud. I'm not shitting you. It's spewing goo. It's magical alien goo. Looky here. This is this is the satisfactory map. Well, it's another lovely day of being a law-abiding citizen. Not manufacturing any explosives or weapons. Now that the FBI isn't listening, check out this black powder I'm making. Turns out all you need is to find a little sulfur node uh, and combine that with coal. Lucky me, sulfur wasn't too far away. It's not extremely important or anything, but I just wanted to get this Nobelisk detonator. Alright, got the Nobelisk, or Nobelisk, I think is what he, what they called it. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Jesus. Ooh, yeah, give me that expanded tool belt, baby. It's not a euphemism. I'm actually expanding my tool belt. What the hell? Why haven't I been doing this? Give me that inflated pocket. Ugh, I've been wearing my headphones on for so long. I feel like I'm getting like the Tyler 1 divot on my head. Ah, oh, there's so many glorious things in the ma'am that I have yet to unlock uh, that I should have done earlier. More equipment slots. Let's get a gas mask too. Now I can make my own fart gas explosives. Not for recreational use. Don't huff it is what they're trying to say. Oh, I don't remember molded beams. Is this a new recipe? Gonna be honest, I don't really love either of them. Let me just see what the rescan looks like for 1.0. I've never done a rescan. Okay, it's instant and I love that because waiting 10 minutes for your new recipes was crazy. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go with wet concrete. You can't go wrong. Oh, looks like this uh, biomass burner's still running. 29 biofuel, but this crate's full, so that's probably why, but I'll just take some. As you can see, I've also basically replaced the entire iron factory with a new one. This time I'm playing around with blueprints. You can see I've actually made each one its own blueprint. Except for these assemblers, I got lazy. That way, once this is no longer useful to me, just dismantling it is super easy. Got a new storage system, which is literally just four big crates right here next to my base. So, since I used the Nobelisk to crack open this Caterium node, I'm now harvesting this nice gold-like mineral. I'm thinking, what should I do? Maybe like layers and layers? Should I embrace the spaghetti? I could just make the world totally full of spaghetti, you know? Just build it layers on layers until it becomes a nice lasagna. But right here I'm smelting some Caterium into quick wire, cause, you know, why not? And who can forget Mr. Powerpool Mark II? Did they change the recipe for this? Oh, and it allows up to seven? I feel like, is that different? They might have buffed it a little bit, cause, I don't know, maybe people complained. I see that my map is growing, but I haven't really been south, I wonder what's going on there. Search for some sloops. Looks like we got a signal. I just knew it. Why is it always a cave with you guys? Oh god, not you! Oh, it's the stingers. These look like geothermal energy points. Oh, hi, sir. Would you like- Ow, would you like an explosive? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm stuck in the terrain. Oh, please have mercy on me. Please, please, no. It's a finished game. 1.0! Uh... Well, I'm out of gay baby jail, but at what cost? Is it the pink forest? That's bad land. Oh, but we do have a mercer here. Uh, don't mind if I do. Are you gonna say some weird shit to me? Ow! I don't care if you smacked me, I got the sphere, that's what I came for. I need to ponder this orb, like the great wizards of legend. Is this like the Skyrim horse climbing of Satisfactory? You just pull the umbrella and you can climb up any vertical wall. Sweet. Doesn't look like there's anything up here though. Just a bunch of dudes spitting at me, very rudely. Okay, so we got a hard drive down there. Let's see if I can do a little sniping. Haha. -ha. Quick, eat the bacon! Finally, I can loot in peace. No, you need 90 megawatts. So what you're saying is I only need three biomass burners operating for one second. Here, please take some leaves. Take some leaves. 
And that's all you need, folks. And you find all kinds of nice goodies around here. I just found circuit boards. Earlier, I found actually computers. Oh god, that scared me. Ooh, we got oil here. So this is where the oil is. Oh, there's radiation here. Oh god, this is not a safe place for me. I can't help it. The spirit of adventure calls to me. Like the spirit of scamming children comes to a big YouTuber. No, don't kill me. I need the Mercer. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh! I almost had it. Oh god, I'm not gonna live today, am I? Ooh, there's the desert. A whole new world. There's so much to explore. Oh, a Mercer. Thank you. This one I can collect. Oh, we got a big cave. What's in here? I was looking for something of interest like this. Ah, oh, yes, it is. Oh, there's a lot of stingers. Ah, I make my skin crawl. Not really, but I don't like. Yes, is that what I think it is? Some S A M ore. Hey, get away from me! I don't like you. Yes, stop jumping at me. You will not stop me from getting to my ore. Let's put down a marker for this. Okay, I hear voices again. Just coming from the fucking ore. Even though the ore is fucking talking to me, I'm just gonna do the same old thing. Oh, I'm really excited to get into this. This is some legit pioneering. We've never seen Sam ore look anything like this. And I haven't experimented with it at all. It's brand new! Thankfully, you can make some of the wood and mycelia in the cave into fuel, even if you don't have any leaves. So, that should do for a while. We about to get into some deep 1.0 shit. Okay, maybe not deep, maybe just scratching the surface, but deep to me. Alright, well, I hope 600 Sam ore is gonna be good enough for now. I'll be back soon for more. We got more oil right here. Look at that sparkling, glistening oil. The American in me is craving it. They want to battle for the Mercer Sphere, so be it. Come here. Ole. Okay, okay. It's finally the time. Sam analysis. Fill the rivers with the blood. Effigies. I'm scared. But I still want to craft. Okay, this shit is really changing the tone of this game. Sh should I be concerned? Well, it looks like reanimated Sam isn't difficult to make or anything. Now I can get the Sam fluctuator. Oh, I think I actually skipped the dialogue. I'm sure it was going to be more weird shit about effigies, temples, and blood and bones. Wow, this factory's just been going. Look how many of these things we have. Oh, I'm definitely going to get the Dimensional Depot. I saw this thing in the 1.0 release video. I'm scared, guys. Why is this game scary now? Perhaps the single biggest game changer in, in 1.0. Seriously. Said by the man himself in the video. This little bad boy just uploads things to the cloud. I'm not shitting you. Good lord. We've done it. We've got a dimensional depot. If you don't know, it just basically uploads items to the cloud and then when you're building things, you can just suck them up so that it solves the big problem of going back and forth between factories in this game. No longer am I a paper boy or an Uber driver, but a pioneer, a proper pioneer. Yeah, it takes quite a lot of time, I guess, to actually upload all the th stuff, but you know, that's a price you have to pay. I suppose it's time to gather some coupons as well. Need those Chuck E. Cheese tickets to unlock all my gifts. All the Christmas presents for Papa and Child. You still in here, buddy? He's kind of just like, yeah, he's still there. He's kind of just buried in the floor at this point. Oh, I fell in the hole. Rub, 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 rescan. Cast screw or steel screw. And now that's what I'm talking about. Let's get steel screw. And I can get an inflated pocket dimension. Thousand cables. 
I need more tickets though, so I'm gonna throw all this alien DNA in here. Need as many tickets as I can get so I can get customized stuff and make pretty factories. Alright, so now that I got cast screws, I think I need to redo all my iron factories to involve steel. Which is great, because I don't really have a steel factory going right now, I just have one foundry. And it's about time I stop being so lazy. But you know what that means, this factory's gotta get shut down, so first things first. Gonna just production pause these miners. This factory was pretty good at making reinforced plates, but not that great at much else. Alright, while that's happening, I'm gonna work on this foundry blueprint, because it's about time we get one going. Oh! The molded steel pipe is in the foundry. Wow, that's cool. So, in early access satisfactory, I don't think any of the alternate recipes were in the foundry. That's new. Alright, that's my basic three foundry blueprint, and I'm sticking to it for right now, and only right now, so I'm not sticking to it. Alright, let's clear some space, shall we? Get rid of that bad boy, this bad boy. Huzzah! They are deleted. Except for these, which I think might be useful. I literally didn't even notice until now that these things are stackable now. Wow, that is a nice quality of life feature in indeed. But yeah, I can't forget about the Miner Mark II, which I unlocked a while back. So I can start replacing these guys now that I got the resources. I got no other option. Only one thing to do. Just keep on moving ahead. And keep building above, vertically. Because that's what they're encouraging, that's what I gotta do. And I'm running out of space. Ah, the great table has been constructed from which we will feast upon iron and steel. Okay, Fixit wants me to take a mandated break since I've been playing for two hours. But first, I can set up some uh, foundry thing that I made. There we go. Six foundries here will be capable of accepting exactly 270, which is perfect. Oh, I just built five kilometers of conveyor belts, apparently. Which is funny, because I probably disassembled most of them, so it doesn't really seem like there's five kilometer belts at all. Now this is just gonna be the smeltery department. The smelt district. Two rows of smelteries. Oh yeah, I was supposed to take a break. Oh god, it is getting late. Well, I will resume this shortly. This is an over factory. I can't wait any longer. I need to know more about this strange alien ore. So I'm crafting it here into some of this reanimated Sam. What's in here then? You trying to hide something from me? Yeah, you can't hide a slug from me. I'm like Slug MacGyver. Oh god, what was that noise? No, it's the horrible thing. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I bet you didn't think geometry would- Ow! You rude little wanka! Alright, I taught him a lesson, don't worry. And of course, I still have yet to automate steel. Uh, I should probably work on that next priority, as well as making this look better. But I'm here to just grab some coal, so let's go ahead and drive back home. I've been working on manufacturing with blueprints, so the blip- Oh wow, look at all these dudes I ran over. <laughs> I keep going back and forth and over time I just, wow, that's horrendous. There's a lot of roadkill for me to harvest, you know. Here in the south we don't waste that. Oh, sir. We're having possum stew tonight, boys. So yeah, as I think I showed you before, we got a big smeltery and then up here on top, oh I've also got another smeltery over there and some constructors. And they're making all my basic materials here. You can see I've got thousands upon thousands of these iron plates and rods. Look at that beaut. She's a real beaut. But also when we have coal, I'm making these steel beams and steel pipes too. And all these are blueprints, I believe. Uh, yeah, even the foundry, I made one. So production's been ramped up here. We're doing pretty good. 
Now I'm finally at 100 Sam fluctuators, and I think that's exactly how many I needed to unlock the next thing. Production amplifier. Amazingly, uh, I haven't even unlocked circuit boards yet. I have just found them around these wreckages. So definitely recommend exploring a little bit if you need those to unlock this. Tinier bodies until the line layers fold into curves, which fold into threads, which weave the tapestry. A song of light and leaf of flower, a dance matter and clouds and Now would you look at that, this is new for 1.0, I can just throw a summer sloop in and it increases the output, actually it doubles it. So if I'm doing something like a power slug, you can actually get double your power shards from your power slugs. And those are, or at least they were, finite material. But same thing with like hog protein, which you turn into alien DNA, you can get way more tickets if you do that. So check it out. Three power slugs should give us six power shards. Oh yeah, it's making weird noises too. Oh, look at that. It's spewing juice. It's spewing goo. It's magical alien goo. This is busted. I can't believe they actually added a two times multiplier. That makes, that makes a big difference. My little noodle brain hadn't even fully comprehended that when I watched the video that that was actually a two times multiplier. Maybe I understood, but not the implications. I've also been using this line of assemblers here for the purpose of manufacturing modular frames. And now since I unlocked these crystal oscillators earlier, now I can get the Explorer. Now I can use some of this plastic that I just found around the wreck sites too for unlocking things like the high speed connector. Now that I've doubled all my alien protein, I would have had 24. Now I can get yet another doubling <laughs> from 48 96 uh, my brain's not mathing yes 96 oh I can also overcharge in addition to that oh this is just nutty how much power is that gonna use though surely a lot oh it jumped to 53 look at that jump in the power grid <laughs> so that single machine there is responsible for that spike right there but it really do be going I mean if I saw that shit at a factory, I would stand away. It's moving at damn near otherworldly pace. It could be the spooky little Halloween glowing lights, too, that make it feel that way, but you know. Yep, I'm gonna need some basic stuff like pipeline wall attachments. Let's see. Floodlights would be lovely. Well, that's a big help. I just unlocked all kinds of stuff for my factory building. Going on a dead kissing spree. Making my first ever AI limiters here. I've got this Caterium node going, smelter going, constructor going to making quick wire. So if I come back in a little while, we should have a lot more. Definitely still in the accumulation phase. We're still just gathering, gathering and preparing. I gotta start uh, making a phase two factory real soon. Oh, how can I forget? I got some alternates the other night. All right, fuck it, we're getting inventory slots. Okay, we need better, yeah, better iron plates is not a bad idea, so I think this one goes up to 15 per minute and just one assembler. I think I'm gonna go for that. Uh, yes please, don't mind if I do. Unlock the power switch. And the smart splitter, of course. All right, but enough fiddling around, it's time to get some hyper tubes going. We need flight, we need better travel. And that's exactly what this will provide. Ah, uh, hello, hyper tube accelerator my old friend that's right it's time to go on an adventure well first let's see if it works and then we'll go on an adventure oh yeah too fast too factory oh i hit the miner oh but what a nice view who put that fucking miner in the way Whee! Oh, it's kind of a shallow angle. Might want to increase that a little bit. If I want some more distance. Oh yeah, I gotta pull my parachute. Still, that was the fastest speed and the furthest distance we've accomplished so far in our space program. Oh god, I think we should be proud. Excuse me, sir, I need that Mercer Sphere. They are emulating human speech. So, they're just speaking nonsense. Somehow I doubt that. Yes, die, you fart bastards. Oh, God! No, no, please, not the spiders. 
You can't just give a man fart clouds and spiders in the same day! Oh wow, that was crazy. That was so crazy, my iron rebar is just floating there. Oh, there it goes. You didn't die, huh? And look, they even gave it a little animation. It used to just disappear. You can even take out these giant fart pillars made out of rock. Oh, speaking of killing things with explosives. Oh, you're still alive, are you? How about another? Uh, how about some of this? Okay, that was enough. No, please don't poison me to death. I have so much to live for! Oh, God. You wouldn't follow me down a cliff, would you? Oh, there's a mean man. Oh, I got an achievement for visiting starting biomes. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's where I am, yeah. Wow, that is quite a sheer cliff edge, is it not? I remember, I spent my first game in this area. And if I remember correctly, there's some uranium in this cave here. Oh, look. I think that's my first purple power slug. Let's go grab that little boy. Oh, uh, of course there's a freaking spider. Oh, there's spiders everywhere! No, please. I just want the slug. I tried to warn you. Just give me the slug and we no one can get hurt. We can just all go home safely. Definitely, though, uh, if you're starting out in this game, get the parachute as soon as you can. This thing's awesome. It even lets you climb, like, slanted surfaces. Day five of wandering in the cave. I have still no hope of any escape, no sign of sunlight, just more spiders. At least these are the small ones. They're good target practice. I've collected numerous slugs, which interestingly seem to not resist me collecting them at all. They just give me a nice little tingly zappy feeling in my fingertips. Alright, looks like we found it actually. Where am I? Uh, we emerged way more north than we first entered. Oh, hello. I don't want to fight you. Oh god, it's guarded by a radioactive hog. There's no way I can take this thing out, can I? Let me try. Fuck it. MLG Pro Gamer. No, never mind. I regret everything. Please, sir. Okay. You, you guys, didn't, you didn't see that. Cut that part out. Purple power slugs researched. Let's go. Ah, oh, synthetic power shards. That's new. Oh, I know a good use for the hyper tube accelerator. Let's fly on over and I. Oh wait, I forgot to change the angle. The angle of azimuth. Oh shit. I was gonna say I should fly over to that cave entrance over there, but it appears we are rapidly flying away from it. I can see my house from here. Oh, I spied a summer sloop. I got a pixel of it in the glimmer of my eye. Oh, it's radiative. Radiative? I made a new word. Just pick it up. Who cares if you die? Fuck. No, please. Uh, it hurts every inch of me. Mercer. Oh, this one's radio too. Radioactive. That's the word. I just like to call it radio for short. All right. We got to put this parachute climbing abilities to the test. Climb, parachute, climb. Oh, there's a lot of mean guys here. Oh, they're kicking my fucking ass, dude. Oh, there's another thing. Quick, blow it up. Ah, everything's radioactive. I can't get that power slug. I'm too low. Oh, God. No, please. Okay, I just want to leave. Never mind. I won't even get the slug. I don't need it. Why is it all radioactive? <laughs> okay, change the angle there. This should be better. Woo, here we go. Oh, past the space elevator. See ya. Oh, wow. They actually drew the line all the way up there. Oh, God. Well, look. Looky here. This is, this is the satisfactory map. Did they increase? They definitely increased the render distance, didn't they? This is crazy, guys absolutely beautiful so then I can just pull my parachute up here and just I don't know live here yeah I live here now I wonder if I can build this high why not I should build my base up here dude that would be so sick 
Anyway, yeah, it looks like flying to the cave entrance will be no big deal here. I can pick up some more Sam ore while we're at it. There's always mean bastards here. Oh! Oh, I got heavy modular frames. Those are the first ones that I found. Oh, see ya, bro. Oh, and this one's just a freebie. Thank you so much. Oh, computers too? Dude, that's a good find. Turbo fuel, hell yeah. I hope you've been working while I've been away, Mr. Sam or Machine. This one is actually totally independent, powered by biofuel, so maybe I should give it some more solid biofuel. Alright, here you go, you little hungry bastard. And uh, in return, I'll take all of your reanimated Sam. Ooh, quite a bit. No, tell me it isn't true. I think I haven't been recording in-game audio. Oh well, I'll put music over it. Such a dummy dumbass. Anyway, finished hard drive scan. Let's see, what do we got? I would love to, yeah, just make a hyper tube go straight up. Let's see. Oh, I could use this to scout out my future base location. Of course, of course. Problem with building in this area is all the freaking trees obviously and all the hills it's a very uneven terrain it's time to clear cut that's our only option for progressing just like in real life the only way to achieve infinite growth is infinite destruction of natural resources so let's go ahead and clear cut shall we wait a second this might be the only time i ever use bio coal uh but i kind of want it all right now i can make steel out of wood Let's go. Just toss all this wood in here. Yep, that's making coal all right. All right, I got all this reanimated Sam, or I got all this Sam fluctuator now, so. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can unlock things. Okay, yeah, I got a couple of different options here. I can do manual upload, upload upgrade. I think I'm gonna get this one first. Fantastic. And the upload upgrade. 30 per minute is more reasonable. Hey, why are these things just invariably always in the way? And now he won't even move. And I can't place underneath him because he won't move. Sir, being very rude right now. Fucking get. I have to disassemble this? Okay. Okay, I found some more flat space and expanded this space elevator platform. Get rid of these leaves here real quick. I'm just thinking pretty soon I'm going to need to reorganize or move something to accommodate phase two construction. Lots of good wood here for turning into coal for steel production, tell you what. You have been playing for two hours, okay. I get what you're saying, game. The game's gonna tell on me now. It didn't used to do that, but now you guys are gonna know just how much time I spend on these factories. And it's not pretty. Yeah, bio coal kinda sucks, but you know what? It's better than no coal, I guess. Ah, the great stockpiling has begun. Surely I'll need these iron plates someday. Hey there, everybody. Like a goldfish with amnesia, I forgot to do an outro for my video. But I think I was expecting it to be shorter than it was. But this is already 30 minutes, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you who does. And tune in for the next one, where we will be tackling Phase 2. So look forward to that. Peace out!